Hello, everyone. Welcome to Iggy's Toy Parade and Soldier Review. This is your host, Iggy. Yay. Thank you for that. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, what we're going to look at today is some things that you've already previously seen in a video that I posted some time ago. However, I've been getting requests to do more videos and since I'm all out of things in storage, I thought what I would do is a repeat, if you will, of some things that I've already presented to you. So these are not new things necessarily that I'm showing you, but things that you've seen already. Now, this, I guess, would be in the TV business of filler or... Uh, a substitute program until they can get the regular season going. A uh, what did they call it? A summer during the summer they would have uh, replacement shows. I can't think of the proper name for it at the at the moment. But so let's take a look at what we have here. We have the Marks Mansion, and of course this is a tin lithograph building. It's in a very small scale. It looks like it's maybe 176 scale or 172. If you look at the doorway there and compare it to a 132 scale figure, which we'll do right now. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, here we go. Here's a nice standing figure. And you can see clearly quite a way that this guy uh, would have a hard time living in this house. It's for Oompa Loompas. Oompa Loompa. I don't know how the song goes. Now you can see this is not um, an original Britain's because it has a plastic uh, oblong base on it. The painting's not too bad on it. It says that it's Britain's, but it's made in China. And the ones with metal bases are made in um, England. And I'll give you an example of that. Here's one here. It has what looks like a a wafer, a mint wafer, chocolate wafer. And I always have it upside down, don't I? See that? Made in merry old England. Now, you can tell that these uh, Mark's tents are a reproduction because... Let me show you this up close so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. Now, this is not an original Marx tent. And what gives it away almost immediately is this. On originals, this is always broken here or missing completely. But as you can see it here, this would probably indicate that this is a reproduction. Now, these original ones came in several different colors. They came in gray, and they also came in what you see here, this uh, khaki color. This mansion I bought in several different pieces. Originally, I purchased the building but it didn't have a porch and it didn't have chimneys i did find these online and these chimneys actually the chimneys actually cost as much as the building itself let's give you an idea of that over there And the porch was nearly as expensive as the original. So I ended up paying more than I would for an original that was intact. So I thought I was going to save money. Uh, it turned out not to be the case. 
It's a nice house. And this wagon that you see in the background there, that was made, I believe, by Sherry Leah, an English company. And there's a really weird story connected to that. They won a contract to produce toys and Batmobiles and things for the 1966 uh, TV series, Batman. And there was a huge fire at the factory before they could ship out their toys. So the entire line of toys was destroyed in the factory fire, as was the factory itself. And it drove them out of business. And I wonder if maybe the fire was an act of deliberate arson. My father worked for a, a toy company called Wenmac, and it was burned down by an arsonist who turned out to be, I think, one of the uh, people that owned the company. <laughs> Although I'm not positive on the details of that. My dad didn't talk about it much. But they made uh, model airplanes that were gas-powered, and they were not remote control like we have today. Kids today would, would go, this is stupid, because you, what you do is you would stand and turn yourself in a circle and fly the plane on strings that attach to a, a handle, and you would just turn in a circle like this. And But the coolest thing I ever saw is my brother's plane caught fire and uh, he's spinning it, spinning it around. It caught fire and he crashed it in the ground and it, the gasoline ignited and it kind of like exploded. That was really exciting and fun to look at. Anyway, that's what happened to, to that's what I read happened to Sherry Lee, a uh, uh, toy company and they made uh, uh, tempo-like figures that were oversized, almost twice the size of a tempo figure. And their wagons were very similar, too. Now, in fact, the wagons were more similar than the figures were. In the background here, we see a pair of uh, delta trees. And those are original Marx trees, and there's some over here, too. I think I have quite a number of these trees. If I'm not mistaken, I have like 40 of them. I, at one time I was buying, what the heck is this doing here? <laughs> this is an Auburn Rubber Company tank. This is one of the newer ones that were made before they went out of business. The end of this company was rather fascinating. Also, uh, they were bought out by the mob. And uh, the company, of course, went out of business. Uh, maybe I shouldn't even say things like that. I don't want someone knocking on my door. Hey, you got something against the mob or something here? We don't like it when he talks like that about us. Forget about it. Anyway. Auburn Rubber Company. This is a vinyl version. The ones that we had as kids were a sort of a minty green uh, color. Not a mint green, but a... Uh, I'm not quite sure. It was more this color, to tell you the truth, than this color. See what I mean? It was like this color. And they were rubber. And they made uh, the t tank uh, a half-track a Jeep and a, with a field piece and a truck. And uh, you got them at Woolworths. And us kids, uh, we all, each kid in the neighborhood had probably a dozen each of these things. I had quite a number of them as a boy. Much to my mom's chagrin, she didn't like this kind of stuff. You'll grow up to be weird if you keep collecting these things. And I got, I'm got i proud to say that I did grow up to be weird. <laughs> anyway. 
There's a movie with Ernest Borgnine. I can't remember exactly the title of it. Streetcar Name Desire. I can't remember the name of the movie, but Ernest Borgnine's mom, you know, she cares about him and she says, honey, how come you, you don't have a girlfriend? And he says, ma, whatever it is that women want, I ain't got it. And that was always my story too. When I heard that line, I go, wow, that really fits the bill for me. Whatever it is that women want, I ain't got it. I remember going out to dinner with my mom and she would always tell the receptionist, my son is single. And if you ever wanted to <laughs> see a girl get immediately worried or turned off, just have your mom do that sometime. This is my son. He's 50 years old and he doesn't have a girlfriend. This was a while ago because I'm certainly not 50 anymore. Anyway, this was kind of a, a makeshift video to kind of fill the gap until we can really get into some new things to show you. Um, but these are perennial favorites, Britain's Detail and Mark's. Uh, there are things that I don't, many of you I don't believe would mind seeing again. This stagecoach, it's a nifty little coach. I got it from a fella in Italy, but I don't know who makes it. I don't see any markings on it whatsoever. A little bit of rust going on there. Anyway, it's a nice little stagecoach. It's smaller in scale. But like I said, it fits pretty well with this structure here. Let me give you some close-ups of these detail figures. Now I believe the story I'm I'm trying to remember how this went but when Britons William Britons discontinued their swap it line which was an excellent line of figures by the way and those of you who are serious about collecting are very familiar with Britons swap it's and <clears throat> they're now very pricey if you uh see one online they're they're usually pretty costly anyway they discontinued that line and decided to uh, replace it with a line of figures that was a little more affordable for the kids and they came up in 1971 with the britain's detail line it was my understanding that they bought herald toys toy soldiers to and that they used Harold to sculpt their figures for the new Britain's detail line. Okay, guys, that's all I got for you. Like I said, these are all things you've seen before. But because uh, I'm, I'm not trying to mislead you like, oh, my God, he has a huge collection. I do have a very large collection because I think I made about <clears throat> how many videos did I make before? What was it? 281 or something or 82 videos or was it 181? I, don't, I can't remember. It's been a while since I've looked at my page, but quite a number of uh, videos featuring uh, my collection and the, the varied, uh, things that I have in that collection. I think we should uh, retire for the evening and uh, meet up at Roy Rogers Ranch, okay? Happy trails to you until we meet again. Happy trails to you 
keep smiling until then. I don't remember the rest of the words. I can't figure out how this tank snuck into this, but tanks a lot. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Sweetly. Bye, guys.